Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. Uh, this is part of the series on Sketch Basics. On this session, we're going to learn about Craft Library. And Craft Library is pretty cool because you can create assets that you're going to reuse in different documents or probably in a team in a collaborative way. So imagine you have a or no, a button with a certain color and then you use it in a different document, but in that document you change the color and this other document where you didn't change the color, now it's obsolete, right? You have to go back and change that. And But with this uh, plugin from Envision, you can do it automatically and it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's talk about a really cool new part from the Craft plugin that is called Library. And the library will help you create uh, shared libraries across your team or if you're working with uh, in collaboration with other designers. This will be very helpful because uh, you can add elements to this library and then it will be in the cloud and both of you people can can share this library and if if it, one element on the library changes in one document somewhere else, it can be updated in a different document and somewhere else. So let's go ahead and try it because probably it's better if I explain it. So you can have a shared library and you can create a also create a style guide from your document. So let's go ahead and first, for example, I'm going to add this button to my library. So I'm going to create a new library, I'm going to name it PunBot. I'm going to choose a destination and I'm going to put it, yeah, I'm going to put it here. And right there, you can obviously save it anywhere else. You can save it on Dropbox or any other, uh, probably Google Drive, something that where you will be able to share that library with someone else. So I save it there, it's on my Dropbox. And now I, uh, I create the library and now I can start adding um, elements to it. So for example, this one, I can add an item and I have the mega button there. And for example, this one, I can add a, a textile to it. I can just add that and probably, for example, this color, I want to add that color here. And now I have three elements on my library. And if I were to go to a new document, I'm going to create a new document. And here I can use this library. I can put those elements here. Oops, sorry. For example, I'm going to, this is the title. And I'm going to apply the, uh, the that text title to it. And also, for example, if I have another element, and can I apply that color that I had before? And let's say that, okay, this is a new file, this is someone else working on this, or it's, it's you, which is just like in a different file, you decided that something changed. So for example, the color on this, instead of uh, this pinkish, you want it to be now blue. So you update it. And now, as you can see, this element can be updated over here. So I click on that, and now it has been updated over here. And if I go to the previous file um, over here, now I can, I see that this is telling me, hey, there's an update that you can apply. So I'm going to click on it and now it updates for me. These are totally different files and automatically uh, updates those elements for me. Yeah, so you can see how powerful this can be. And when you're working with big teams and in collaboration or you're working with in a document or in a project that sometimes uh, things change. So you can use libraries for uh, shared styles and elements that you will be using across documents and will make your life probably way, way easier. Mm -hmm.